Hi guys, welcome to Audio Discovery. Now, maximizing your workflow sounds like something super corporate, but realistically, it's something that's going to help your creativity a whole lot. And I'm going to show you a few different tips and tricks in order to do so using Cakewalk. Now, one of the things that I think goes, I have not seen any videos on this, and I'm very curious as to whether or not I'm just sort of like screaming into the wind here. But have you ever tried saving a, t a track template? It's really, really useful. Let me show you. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select my input that I normally do. Okay, and here we're going to go. We're going to select the... Um, so as a guitar player, uh, I usually end up needing uh, to go through these steps in order to to set up uh, something where I'm able to get uh, a sound out, right? So this is kind of a metal-ish guitar, but we have the options to go, um, you know, something a little bit more light. Um, actually, this uh, plugin does this, the, the thing uh, within it. You know, you can do a clean tone. Okay. Anyhow, that's really hot. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so... Um, what we want to do is now that we've got a setup, okay, um, this is just a basic setup. I just have one. We can save this as a track template. Boom, right? So now we're going to go and if we needed to do this again, we just go in, insert from track template, and voila, we've got ourselves another track, right? Okay, so. Um, now, one of the things that's really cool about this is that you can, it's, it'll save all of your like presets and everything, um, that goes into this channel. So if, uh, if I wanted to, let's, I'll, I'll do one that I did earlier. So let's insert from track template. And I had this torpedo that was set up, uh, sorry, it was a, a clean tone amp into uh, the wall of sound, right? So, um. Now, the wall of sound has a bunch of different uh, options. So you can go in and you can make your selections. Now this won't, this won't keep the, um, the amp selections. Let's see about the arcade. Now it does save the arcade selections. So um, I made these uh, uh, just a bit ago. I made these, um, uh, I updated these parameters so now um, when you're able to s when you save it uh, as a track template uh, it'll, it'll save that okay now also what I ended up doing um, is if you notice this uh, global on and off here is that I also had uh, saved to this track template uh, some of the pieces of the pro channel so pro channel um, elements also uh, if you wanted to open up um, the um, the pro channel presets. So say for instance for guitar. So we've got the deesser. We've got all the um, the effects chain stuff. So that goes in there. And so yeah. So it's super useful. Um, I would definitely utilize this. And um, yeah. So there you have it. Uh, quick and easy. Um, uh, you know, save yourself a track template. Um, or, or use some of the ones that are already here, but, um, you know, notice multi-band, uh, vocals. It's, uh, yeah, it's just, it's really, um, really no brainer, uh, maximize your, your efficiency, um, you know, get your workflow in order, uh, to get to get your creativity, uh, you know, to get your creative, um, endeavors out. So this is Audio Discovery. Thanks for watching.